A C B A. Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Boog Nice coming at you with another daily news update. So I did not touch base with you guys yesterday like I promised on Tuesday. And we did not actually have an episode of the Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast yesterday, which would have been our midweek show. We all just had a lot going on. But please go back and check out Friday's episode of the podcast. Again, we had June of Jada Toys on the show. It was a great episode. Definitely worth a listen after the fact. So yeah, that is available for your listening and viewing pleasure. On Tuesday, Mezco gave us a heads up that Firefly would go up for pre-order on Wednesday, which was yesterday, and it did. I didn't even post about it on my Instagram. Again, I'm not really messing with the uh, G.I. Joe figures for Mezco. You know, I kind of been losing hope in Mezco. I haven't even opened, uh, fully opened Mr. Freeze yet, although I've seen some great pictures. But Mezco's just kind of all over the place with things that don't necessarily go together aside from the their Rumble Society stuff. You know, they haven't really completed any teams. They just, you know, they all over the place. I was talking with my boy Ed about that. So for you to bring things together in terms of succinct, complete displays with Mezco, you got to do a lot of kit bashing and what have you. But this Firefly that went up for pre-order, somebody pointed out to me that he does not have any trigger finger hands. How's that possible? Now, don't get me wrong. The figure looks pretty nice. At least these renders or whatever's going on here, this <laughs> Photoshop or whatever it is. But it seems odd that they wouldn't and include that. Maybe the final offering will have it, and they just messed up here on these uh, renders. But this did go up for pre-order on Mesco site, as well as all the other sites, Big Bad Toy Store, etc., etc. So it's not exclusive to Mesco site. In my last update, I touched on Hasbro's YouTube post showing an unboxing of the No Way Home Spider-Man 3-pack. I see Isaac Wong has the set in hand. You know, I did mention that it was out in Hong Kong, and that somebody was selling some sets on eBay. Again, I do think these look great, but no unmasked head in this pack is kind of whack. I did also mention that I felt like I remember Todd Rectangular saying that there would be a No Way Home wave. And he did confirm that again or reconfirmed it on his uh, Instagram. So we can look forward to those unmasked head sculpts coming at some point. See the uh, Sky Cycle showing up for another YouTuber here. The Hyperion and Dr. Spectrum set converted on Big Bad Toy Store. So that's in stock there. You know, we are rapidly building up our Squadron Supreme. And I've been on my team's tip in terms of posts on Instagram. Hasbro has completed some great teams for us and we are very close to completing quite a bit more. I definitely love to see an updated Unworthy Thor. All of the Thors from that storyline in which he battled Gore. We need a comic-based Beta Ray Bill that can rival the Marvel Select version that just came out, which I know is very good. We need an updated Black Boat and Medusa. We've never had a great Black Boat. It'd be nice to round out the Inhumans at some point and update cloak and dagger would be great these are the old versions we do have the anon avengers the all new all different avengers complete these look so nice together this iron man in particular is a very solid offering from marvel legends we do need updated kid bucks we need an updated super posable kid buck for a spider-man figure we do have a couple of versions of the sinister six complete including the original six members here you know you can play around with this and swap out craven for hobgoblin and do a couple of other things. Thunderbolts would be nice to get an update, a new Agent Venom, a new Punisher with the red logo, even an updated Red Hulk, which you know changed from General Ross to, I don't even know, somebody else in the comic books at some point, but that would be nice. You know, I've been saying this for quite a while, but we definitely need an updated Wrecking Crew. Hasbro has made some leaps and bounds in terms of body molds and stuff like that since they put out this crew, which was very hard to complete and took a very long time to complete. Plenty of people still don't have this complete we've got marvel's big three every which way mcu comic actually has set up the big three with the anon avengers so it was uh falcon cap iron man and jane forster thor but i don't know what happened to those shots black tom and juggernaut i had posted this on instagram and somebody said that the other juggernaut is probably more suited to be in a team up with black tom but go figure i would love to see hasbro revisit the uh armor that punisher stole in the comic books and paint the Punisher logo on. Speaking of which, I feel like I saw a post today saying that Marvel was getting rid of the Punisher or something like that. 
I feel like my man John Papa Sergio posted that somewhere. Where did I see that? But yeah, bigger, bulkier armor that looks like somebody of Punisher's stature could fit inside. That'd be nice. I would like to see them revisit that. I think a lot of people forgot about this builder figure, which is solid. And you know, this was not only red skull onslaught but onslaught himself from the days when hasbro was doing the running changes and giving you like a two for one with builder figures speaking of which this was red skull and the arnim zola sort of body and then there was also arnim zola and then red skull here from the zimnu builder figure wave so the comic based red skulls that we have a few there was actually one or two more still never completed our 90s x factor <laughs> i kit bashed the little wolfsbane here i used the body for from Jessica Jones, the the uh, Netflix Jessica Jones, and then just use the additional head and hands that we got with the Danny Moonstar figure. I forgot where I got this little scarf from, but it was like a three pack of scarves that could fit over the neck peg of most Marvel Legends and that covered up that white portion on the neck. So I actually like this a lot. Got the Brotherhood Big Three, I guess. This is actually the old Magneto from the Jubilee Builder Figure Wave with the head of Magneto from the old Toy Biz version. Best Magneto we have is definitely the Family Matters 3-pack version, but for some reason I couldn't get to that figure at the, at the time. You know, we were able to complete the original five symbiote crew, so there's that. Pretty much all of them need updates, though. <laughs> they all kind of outdated. Movie, Deadpool, and Nega, Sonic, Teenage, War, Head, Lady, or whatever the hell her name is. And yo, I just love this Hulk. But at some point, they're going to have to give us an updated Hulk in which he can thunderclap, basically, in which the butterfly joints work moving forward as well as backwards. But yeah, just continuing to chronicle the collection through some white hots and what have you. This was all part of a process of me just kind of cleaning up some things and also getting ready to do some solid displaying. A lot of Mezco displaying, probably, but I will be doubling back with some complete finish displays. And before I get up out of here, it should be noted that today is the first of the month, which also means it is the first day of Pride Month. And I see that Hasbro came right out the gate with some Pride merchandise, but they surely didn't come out the gate with no Black History stuff. Somebody hit me to this fact. And hey, you know, I'm not against anybody. I love everybody, but I'm just pointing out the obvious here. Kind of pandery. Also, they had a YouTube post similar to the Marvel Legends' crew uh, post yesterday day in which they showed off some G.I. Joe classified stuff. Four things that actually went up for pre-order today and the Tiger Force, Dusty, Python Patrol, Crimson Guard, the Arctic Bat, and the Trouble Bubble. All of those things went up for pre-order. I believe the Trouble Bubble is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. That's the only thing out of these things that I care about. I do want to get a couple of these for sure. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Hit that bell down there. And until next time, Peace. I'm in the game, I'm grinding, I got the play 24 hours in the day, 7 days out the week, I never sleep I'm on my grizzly bear, 52 weeks out the year, yeah